Hello folks and welcome to my channel. Today we are at the Monarch Chesterfield Levy Trail and we're going to go for a little ride. This bike is not much for uphills. It's an electric bike and it, this is about as much hill as it will assist on. Anything more than this and the motor cuts out for one reason or another which kind of defeats the purpose of having an electric bike you, know, you want the torque on a hill but no it fails you so the trail doesn't actually go this way but we're taking a little ride over here i just want to show you so obviously we're on the levee. And these are flood walls around the railroad track. Now, it's one thing having the railroad on the flood plain. Yeah, it could be bad, but as long as you get the train out, it should be recoverable. Floods don't happen that often. Here's my concern. So first of all, there's businesses out here on the floodplain. Now, there's two types of levees, those that have failed and those that will fail. Now, I don't know which type of levee people think that this is when they build out here, but it has failed. But even if it doesn't, for a levee to be effective, it must um, be the same relative height for the length of the river that it's trying to protect people from. Number one. Number two, there cannot be gaps in the levee. Now gaps could be low spots. They can be weak spots. They can be creeks. Now what are they going to do? Put a flood wall through the creek? Now this is interesting. I'm not sure how they access this. I'll give you a little view here. So it runs on down there. That looks like fun. It's mowed lawn over there. I don't know if it's private property or not. We're not going to find out today. But anyway, so the creek in the levee. So if you block off the entirety of the creek, well likely the creek's trying to shed water to the river. So the creek's gonna back up and flood. But suppose you just block off above the water of the creek. Well the pressure from the river is going to push the creek back even more. So no help there either. Suppose you don't put a wall in where the creek is at all, well then there's there might as well not be a levee. And of course if there's any low spots anywhere, you know, or any gaps in the levee, yeah there might as well not be a levee. In the flood of 93 a lot of people went out sandbagging and they got their section, but some people didn't get theirs. So all the flood had to do So what would the um, 
Cicada killer or a walking stick? He was a cicada killer. Anyway, all the flood had to do was go through where there were no sandbags. But other times, people didn't put the sandbags up correctly and push them down. But in any case, the levee was breached. And it was obviously too low. So they didn't learn from their lesson. They built it higher by three feet in some places. Three feet. And that, on one hand, that may sound like a lot. But think about that in some places. So they accomplished nothing. They wasted a bunch of resources. Horses. There you go. Horses. Yeah, I just I cannot understand why people would build out here on the floodplain and think that it's okay. That they won't be the ones affected by the flood. They'll just get everybody around. You know, it's not like they built theirs on top of a hill or something. Their business sets just as low as every other business out here. Now, the fact of the matter is, I'm re-recording this section of video. Somehow, I thought I didn't turn the camera on, but actually when I went back and checked, I had turned the camera on. It recorded for a bit and stopped recording for some reason. And I don't know exactly when it stopped recording. I'm gonna have to look into what's going on with that. But I'm keeping a closer eye on it. I see it is showing it's recording at least. It's, it, that's something, right? So I'm not sure exactly how far I need to go of where I started recording again last time. But yeah, it was very disappointing I had to go back and re-record this. I had some things I wanted to say and I said them and they weren't recorded and now I forgot them. So hopefully I'll think of them again later. I'm running the super long range battery on a fresh charge. And since this is the second time through, well I've got 7.6 miles on this battery. And less than half of the battery remaining. So that is very disappointing. The standard battery is supposed to get you between 40 and 45 miles. And I get often as not six and a half miles, sometimes a little longer. 
And that's with me pedaling. You know, I'm usually pedaling it's between one, you know, it'll, it'll sit right at putting out one to two amps. So I am contributing. And if it's a hill, I'm doing all the work. Any kind of reasonable hill, you know, if it's a slight hill, the bike helps, but anything more than that, it does not. So this is thus far very disappointing. You know, this, this battery is supposed to have a 40% greater range. And of course, whatever they claim as far as range is um, just divide by eight on the on electric conveyance. And that's it's ridiculous. Look at that, they've got all these cracks out here for us. Really appreciate them putting those in for us. Now, don't enjoy the, the bumps and the dips. Those are somebody else's. But on my videos, you can enjoy all the cracks they put in for us. Just special. And they wouldn't have put those in for any other reason than for us, right? Off to the left, those white posts sticking up. That's for Top Golf. with this so-called long-range battery. I've gone 1.8 miles and I'm down a bar already. This is one of my gripes about electric advances. to achieve. You know, whatever they promise, they are not even close to deliver. You know, so if they tell you 40 miles, you know, figure something like an eighth of that. a gas powered conveyance and you only got an eighth of the promised range you'd be pissed I don't understand why people don't complain about this more with the electric conveyances why are they willing to accept such subpar results on this wall to my right. I'm sure you can see in the video here. This is pretty disturbing. I just lost another bar. Now, to be fair, to be fair, this is the first use of this battery, so it's only had one full charge on it. And I am aware that batteries are supposed to, these lithium ion batteries at least, are supposed to pick up charge or pick up capacity after several charges, which just makes no sense. But even if it did make sense, it's unacceptable. I mean, when I when I have 
an internal combustion engine vehicle if I fill the tank up with gas I'll expect at the first run on that tank that I'm only going to get a fraction of the promised range. I expect to get my range every tank from when I buy it until when I get rid of it.